Local cold cases will soon be getting national attention to a new podcast. Eyewitness News 3 reporter Rachel Fabby has more on the podcast and which cases are being covered and why it's important to get these cases solved. For years, law enforcement agencies across the country have been giving inmates playing cards featuring cold cases in that state. In doing so, they hope someone will come forward sharing what they know about the case. These cards, made by Idaho Cold Cases and the Idaho Department of Corrections, will soon be getting national attention thanks to a new podcast from Audio Chuck. What they're doing is something called the deck, and they're looking at people who in cold case decks across the country, victims, and attempting to do a podcast on them as long as they were featured in the deck. The first case being featured is out of Pocatello, the Nine of Hearts. Linda Smith, Pocatello girl from 1981 who went missing when her body was found a year later. Other cases being featured include the Seven of Spades. The Donna Lemon, she was a Bozeman nurse who was found murdered in Idaho Falls in 1973. The Two of Spades. Tanya Teske down the road who was also a uh, Wyoming girl who was found murdered in the Yukon area in the mid-90s. And the Four of Hearts. Randall Leach was a boy in the early 80s, a young man actually, who was hitchhiking his way across the U.S. from family in Wisconsin to see family in Oregon. He disappeared after he left Idaho. So he stayed and worked for a few days at a dairy here in Idaho Falls. Crystal Douglas is the founder of Idaho Cold Cases. She tells me the podcast will bring more attention to the cases. And people are definitely interested in listening to podcasts when they involve someone local to them. So I'm really glad that she's uh, coming out here and we have this collaboration going. The first episode drops February 2nd. I hope that people will listen and people will share with others who were maybe around in that time frame, maybe knew the victim, maybe knew some of the people surrounding the victim get talking again. And maybe you never know, some little bit of information may come forward. Every one of these families deserves answers and police do need help on these cases. They are never, never over until we have justice. Douglas won't be a part of the Linda Smith episode due to a scheduling conflict, but will be included in many others, some of which haven't been announced yet. In Idaho Falls, I'm Rachel Fabby.